friends so i am back and today is a question time so we have learned a lot about periodic classification of elements we learned about manlieff's periodic table modern periodic law we learned about the trends in periods and groups so i feel that you are all set and ready to answer some of the questions so let's try to attempt few interesting questions name two elements you would expect to show chemical reactions similar to magnesium now uh, if we expect similar chemical properties that means we are talking about elements which are in the same group only then they will have similar properties right so any element in the same group as magnesium is where is magnesium it is in group 2 so any element in this group will do so here we have to name two such elements it could be calcium strontium because they all lie in the same group name three elements that have a single electron in their outermost shells okay three elements that have single electron so one electron in the valence shell that means all these elements will belong to group 1 so just go to group 1 and you can pick any three elements so it could be lithium sodium potassium name two elements that have two electrons in their outermost shell two electrons in outermost shell that means these elements belong to group 2 so from group 2 you can pick any two elements it could be beryllium magnesium three elements with filled outermost shells filled means how many electrons you need you need eight electrons in the outermost shell the only exception is helium which has two electrons so basically you can pick up any element from group 18 so it could be neon helium argon krypton so all of these have filled outermost shells lithium sodium potassium are all metals that react with water to liberate hydrogen gas is there any similarity in the atoms of these elements so if you look at these elements lithium sodium and potassium so all of them belong to the same group now since they are in the same group therefore they have same valency therefore they have same valence electrons and therefore their physical and chemical properties are similar helium is an unreactive gas where is helium here and neon is a gas of extremely low reactivity what if anything do their atoms have in common again they belong to the same group and also they have filled valence shell that is their outermost shells are filled therefore they do not tend to react with uh, any other element right and they all belong to the same group in the modern periodic table which are the metals among the first 10 elements so which are the first 10 elements hydrogen helium lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine neon so till here you see most of these elements are on the right hand side which means they are not metals so the only metals are lithium and beryllium in fact hydrogen is an exception which is on the left hand side but it is not a metal Let's look at the next question. By considering their position on the periodic table, which one of the following elements would you expect to have maximized metallic characteristic? Gallium, germanium, arsenic, selenium and bromine. So let us first identify these metals on the periodic table. So this is gallium, germanium, arsenic, selenium and bromine. so these are the elements now looking at their position we see that all of them belong to the same period now we know that in a period as we move from left to right what happens to the metallic characteristic the metallic characteristic decreases as we move from left to right correct so what happens in a period metallic character decreases from left to right correct so that means out of these maximum metallic character will be of gallium let's look at the next one element x forms a chloride with the formula xcl2 which is a solid with a high melting point x would most likely be in the same group of the periodic table as sodium magnesium aluminum or silicon okay so the options which are given so what how how does sodium react with chlorine it reacts with chlorine to form nacl what about magnesium it reacts with chlorine to form mgcl2 aluminum it reacts with chlorine to form alcl3 and what about silicon it forms sicl4 
right so now we say that x forms a chloride of the formula xcl2 which is very similar to that of mgcl2 correct so that means there are chances that x lies in the same group as magnesium because all the elements which lie in the same group they have similar chemical properties therefore they form similar types of oxides hydrides chlorides and so on so therefore the correct option would be magnesium which element has two shells both of which are completely filled with electrons well there are many such elements in fact most of the elements which are in the group 18 they have all filled electrons but here we are looking for element which has only two shells that is k and l which are both filled with electrons so, so two such elements could be helium or neon so if for neon also it is 2 8 both are filled which element has electronic configuration 2, 8, 2? So if you sum this up, it is 2 plus 8 plus 2, that is 12. So the element with atomic number 12, that is magnesium. A total of 3 shells with 4 electrons in its valence shell. So total 3 shell, that means K, L, M and valence electron has 4 electrons. Valence shell has 4 electrons. Now it is quite obvious that K and L has to be fully filled for the valence shell to have 4 electrons so if you sum them up the atomic number is 14 so 14 atomic number is for silicon so this will be silicon a total of 2 shells with 3 electrons in its valence shell so a total of 2 shells 3 electrons in valence shell the first shell is k shell so maximum it can hold 2 electrons so total how many electrons we have here 5 so 5 atomic number is for boron so this is boron twice as many electrons in its second shell as in its first shell so first shell is k shell so maximum it can have two electrons so in the second shell it has twice the number of the first shell that means here it has four so total how many electrons six so six atomic number that is carbon so this is carbon so you see these are pretty simple questions just that you need to uh, think and you need to understand the question properly you may get these kind of questions as one mark question the position of three elements a b and c in the periodic table are shown below state whether a is a metal or a non-metal so looking at its position we see that a belongs to group 17 which is on the right side of the periodic table so therefore a is a non-metal state whether c is more reactive or less reactive than a so we see here that both a and c they belong to the same group and we know that in a group reactivity decreases down the group for non-metals reactivity decreases down the group for non-metals so here we are dealing with non-metals right because both a and c they belong to group 17 so they are non <coughs> so therefore we can say that c is less reactive than a will c be larger or smaller in size than b so now if you compare B and C, they belong to the same period and along a period as we move from left to right, the atomic size decreases. So therefore C will be smaller in size than B. Which type of ion, cation or anion will be formed by element A? So element A is a non-metal and therefore it will always have a tendency to gain electron and after gaining electron, it will become a negatively charged ion right so negatively charged ion is an anion anion that is a negatively charged ion so that's how you can remember anion is always a negatively charged ion So compare and contrast the arrangement of elements in Mendeleev's periodic table and modern periodic table. Now this is an interesting one because so far we have discussed about Mendeleev's periodic table separately, their limitations and then we have discussed about the modern periodic table. But here you can see a quick comparison between the two. So Mendeleev periodic table had 7 groups, 6 periods, modern 18 groups, 7 periods. Mendeleev periodic table was based on atomic mass, modern is based on atomic number. Now, in Mandelieff periodic table, elements with similar properties are placed in a group. In case of modern periodic table, again, elements with same valence electrons are placed in a group. So, you see, we also have some similarities that in both these periodic tables, similar property elements were in the same group. 
Mandelieff periodic table position of hydrogen could not be explained, but it was very well explained in a modern periodic table. Isotopes created confusion in Mandelieff's table, but the isotopes were handled properly in modern periodic table. An atom has electronic configuration 287. What is the atomic number of this element? To which of the following elements would it be chemically similar? Atomic numbers are given in the parenthesis. Nitrogen 7, fluorine 9, phosphorus 15 and argon 18. I'm sure that you would have answered the question and I'm waiting for your response in the comment section. So see you all very soon with a new video on a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.